Welcome to the first real snow day of the year for us. It's uh, been snowing all night. I think it started around four o'clock last uh, yesterday. And it's pretty wet today. Pretty wet and heavy snow. It's kind of nice though. Look at it all. So one of the first things that I do on a snow day here is take care of my greenhouse here. Especially with this heavy snow. I want to get it off so it doesn't collapse it. It can hold quite a bit of weight. And then next thing we try to do is try to plow the driveway. It's not actually that much. It's only like four or five inches of that. Let's see, it's not that bad. We've had three snows so far, but this is definitely the major one here. All of Ontario is getting hit today. I think some areas are calling for 15 to 25. We are getting five to 10. So I'm grabbing my shovel here that was left here about the place. This thing's pretty handy for cleaning off the greenhouse. So we get this set up and start clearing it off. And then we'll uh, start the chores. Maybe we'll get some breakfast first. We'll see what happens. See how I'm feeling after this. Uh, I was hoping for a lighter snow. I much prefer the lighter snow than the heavy stuff. But here we go. And this shovel is so handy to have. Makes cleaning off the greenhouse super easy and fast. I used to bang it off from the inside, but that took forever. And with this heavier snow, it's a little harder. All right, on to the other side here. That's done. If you guys don't have a roof shovel like this, clear off your greenhouse, I highly recommend it. it. Took like five minutes to do this, and it's done. Okay, I'm gonna check on the animals quickly and then maybe go get some breakfast. Or maybe do the chores for our son breakfast. Let's we'll see how everybody's doing. Hi, Bean. You waiting for breakfast? Bean and Taco waiting for the breakfast. Hi Grobe, how you doing? We brought Grobe in last night because she's pregnant. She's due in January, aren't ya? She hasn't been looking too happy. Past week or two outside, she's there with her head down. It's just like, get this baby out of me. So we brought her in here. So she's gonna stay nice, dry, warmer. And then she'll have her baby in here, which will be much more pleasant than having her out in the snow. Let's go see how the goats and everybody's doing over here. Close our barn doors last night to stop all the snow from coming in. All right, let's see how the new shelters fared up last night. How is it in there, goaties? Yeah, looking good. Oh, it did pretty good. We let the doors open, so it didn't come in too much. Hey, piggies, how are you enjoying the snow? You enjoying it? You looking for all the snow food buried? Yeah. Awesome. Well, that worked out well for the new shelter. Everybody's happy in there and dry. I might pull the door open here so that they can come on out if they want. And 
Goats don't like the snow. They don't like making the first tracks in it. But Luna's brave in it. She's your escape artist. All right, I'm gonna get the chores done quickly here. And then, uh, oh, we start plowing the snow. What's that? No, that's, that's your job. All right, give him a bit of corn and a little bit of barley. I'll go get some barley over here. All right. All right, so we got our grain for the cows this morning. These are for Jersey boys that we uh, butcher up. We moved them to the smaller pen as soon as we can so they can start gaining some more weight and uh, an open field they run around too much so that they uh, lose all their meat and their weight which means less meat for our customers so gotta find their other dish it's buried somewhere but we'll get this down and they all come running out how's your new shelter there boys you liking it you guys like your new shelter that's what i thought okay They'll be coming running over here in a minute for the green. Here we are. Here you go, boys. Enjoy your breakfast. One for you guys. Oh, your dish is buried over here, isn't it? Here it is. There you go. That's 1010 there. We call him 1010 because his tag is 1010. <laughs> Didn't give him a name. We... All the guys are pretty friendly, but he's still a bit skitterish for some reason. Aren't you 1010? That's okay. There we go. And they got the big hay bale down there as well. Okay, on to the next. Should check the water too. I put some water in there yesterday. Probably need more again. If you don't know, cows drink a lot of water. A lot of water. So I need to get the hose too and fill up the other trough out back. Because uh, it was dry yesterday, so I fill it up a little bit. And it's hard to fill up too much because we don't want to drain the well, which we did a few weeks ago. Not our fault, the toilet stuck open. So I drained the well and that was a full day adventure. Trying to get that back working. Hi, Stella. How's the snow? You like the snow, don't you? Good pooch. Good pooch. All right. Now it's time to get to the boat some hay. Usually I take the four wheeler over to take hay to the goats out the back. But since we got the snow, let's fly up the snowmobile for the first time this year. Gonna brush it all off here. I tried to start it up a few weeks ago and it wasn't starting. Then when I realized that the fuel wasn't priming through properly because had sat all summer, so I just figured that the gas had just dried out or just siphoned off. So we had to pump some air through the gas tank here to push it through the lines. And she started up right away. It's a good old machine. There we go, two poles and she starts. It takes a while to warm up sometimes. Looks like the belt on the throttle has slipped, it's come loose. So it's not gonna move on the snowmobile, so I'll get some four wheel in it instead. I gotta figure out how to tighten it up because I don't know much about mechanics. So time to get the four wheeler out, which I like better anyways. So it makes uh makes me happy to drive the four wheeler. So what's your favorite part of a snow day? Not having to work. Why don't you have to work on a snow day? 
Because <laughs> it's a snow day. Oh, is it because well, you drive I mean, a bus? I have to work here, but I don't have to drive the bus. That's exciting. I to have lazy coffee on the couch, maybe. Are you making snow angels and snowmen because it's packy snow today? Maybe. Maybe. That's exciting. I think everybody likes to shelter. Did pretty good, eh? Mm -hmm. Kept all the snow out. Griffin's making snowballs there. Maybe we'll bury Griffin later on in the snow. He likes that idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. Beautiful hey, snow. Oh, Angie wants to say hi too. Hi. Are you excited? It's a snow day, no school? Yeah. Yeah? Woohoo! <laughs> awesome. So this is our little goat Luna. She's a bit of an outcast. We've got her after we've had these other goats for a while. She's just walking around chest deep in the snow. How's it going, Luna? She's really mad at us right now. She thinks she's a pig, actually. Yeah, is that so, Luna? She looks escape artist, so every time you turn around, she's trying to escape. And she doesn't really get along with other goats for some reason. Do ya? Nobody likes you there, do they, Luna? Poor little goatee. So, she would always cut into the pig pen here. And we figured, just in the corner post there, right there, the fence was open a bit, so she's sneaking through. So I closed that up this week, and now she just stands all not happy at us. Because now she can't get in to eat all the pig scraps. She thinks she's a pig, she eats the pig food, all the vegetables we give them, it's hilarious. Hey piggies, what do you think of the snow, Miss Piggy? I don't think they're too impressed either. Bit of work there, isn't it, Miss Piggy? Yeah, it's a lot more work than uh, just uh, dirt. <laughs> yep. Here you go, Miss Piggy. What do you think of the snow? What do you think of the snow? Hi. Hi. Yeah, she likes talking to me. Hi. Hi, little Miss Piggy. You gonna say hi to everybody? Say happy snow day. Yeah. All right, let's go see what's next on the agenda here. There's a bit of a trek with a four-wheeler out there. She's spinning a wee bit. I've got some chains I need to put on. I've never put chains on a four-wheeler before or anything at all, really. Kristen's dad gave us some last year and then at the end of the season. And they're a little longer than they need to be, so I've got to put them on and cut them down, I guess. See how that works, but I decided to do a small little mini plow with a four-wheeler. It's way too wet for it. So we're gonna have to pull out the big snow blower with the tractor today and just blow it all out. We were supposed to get a load of hay today, but as you can see, that's not happening. All right, there you go, guys. Just a quick little uh, morning routine on a snow day for us. Clearing everything up, getting the chores done, and then probably just relax all day. Actually, we were bushing rabbits yesterday. So we'll probably butcher a few more today. So that's a good snow day event. So there you go, guys. Hope you have an awesome snow day out there. And we'll see you out there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. We'll see you out there.